I don't know about you, but I love a good throwback YouTube video, and that's what we've got today. We're gonna be going through two of my like everyday bags. I have my close up cam, so you guys are able to see kind of what I'm doing live. I really, really like the up close shot. We did this for my Amazon unboxing. I really liked how it turned out. Let me know what you think of the up close camera because I like to set you guys a little bit further away. This is more like just stuff that you don't really need to know but i like to sit you guys up a little bit further away so you get that whole you get the whole angle but i really like this because you're able to see up close what we got going on but i've got my two bags that we use every single day i have not taken anything out this is just what it looks like but I always like to clean out my bags right when I get home from going somewhere. That might be a little bit of an unpopular routine, but I for sure like to, when I get home, take all the receipts out. So these are fairly clean, but these are kind of my two everyday bags. So right here, we've got the Lululemon traditional belt bag. I like this one for running errands on the go. It's quick, it's easy. I just throw this on like one shoulder, wear it kind of sideways like this, but you can fit a ton of stuff. The other bag that we have is this one right here this one's more of my going out maybe I'm having a day out shopping and it's a little bit nicer maybe I want to wear a cuter outfit I normally wear a lot of athleisure stuff but sometimes I want to dress up sometimes I want to look cute in that case this is the bag that I use I'll have everything down below if you guys want to pick up either of these bags anything inside I'll have it all for you but this one has a shorter handle so you can kind of hold it like this, a little bit more delicate, a little bit more dainty, but it also does have that crossbody strap that you can adjust, throw it over your shoulder like this, or wear it crossbody, of course. This one's still very comfortable. I like a comfortable bag, something that's gonna be realistic, easy to bring around, and these two just honestly work the best. I really, really like these both. Now we're gonna go into the Lululemon belt bag first. Let me turn this camera on for you guys. Hello, you can see me up close now. So this is the belt bag. It's just this silver gray color. Really, really liked it. Very subtle and it really matches everything. This is my first Lululemon bag that I've purchased. I was really, really impressed with how much stuff you could fit in as well as how comfortable. You can really fill this up because the strap is thicker. So it's still gonna be comfortable while you are wearing it. Now inside, you do have these little uh, mesh pockets I don't use those I just throw everything in but you do have little pockets on all of the edges I'll give you guys a little bit of an up close you do have like all these pockets you can organize it that way I just throw everything inside first off I do live in Florida so I do have one of these portable fans this one is so nice for throwing in specifically the belt bag from Lululemon because you can see how flat it is so it doesn't take up a ton of space, doesn't make your bag bulky. I really, really appreciate that. This holds a charge for a really, really long time. I basically charge it once every other month. In the summer months, maybe I have to charge it every month because I'm using it all the time. It has three different speeds to it. This is one of my favorite Amazon finds for on the go. So let me show you my other fan so you can get like a size reference. So this one used to be my everyday fan and as you can tell, it is a quarter of the size flat and also just like width and everything this one is huge that one is really really powerful this one is just great for portable situation so I throw this in there as well obviously I have to have my aquaphor or summer Fridays I went for aquaphor because it is a little bit smaller these makeup wipes I got in a bulk Amazon it was like a pack of 50 or 100 these makeup wipes are incredible there's no brand to them so like no idea but these ones are really really nice I break out really really easily these ones are really good so I like to just keep like one or two with me at all times I also have really oily skin so whenever my makeup starts to slide and melt off my face I need my makeup off ASAP of course We've got the Touchland hand sanitizer spray. I really, really like these. Again, they're really compact as well as they never leak. I have these all over. They never leak. I have the other ones that are the gel. They leak all the time. So I like these for purses. They're pricey. They're very, very pricey, don't get me wrong. But I think for certain situations, these ones are, are really preferred. So if you're traveling, putting this in your purse, I would do these. If again, you're just throwing these in your car or whatever, you've got room for a bigger bottle, you don't need the spray one, they are pricey. But for your purse, 
if you're traveling, if you're on the go, if you don't want something to leak all over everything, I would invest in one or two of these. You don't need to use it every single day unless you love it. I really like this one, but you don't have to use it every single day. Just for spill purposes, these ones are really nice. Now for my lip product, this is what I've been wearing recently. This is the Tarte Maracuja Juicy Lip. I think this color is so pretty. It's that perfect like rosy pink color and it doesn't dry your lips out. It's very hydrating, it looks super pretty. And then in here I just have some claw clips. These ones are my favorite. They came in a pack. The pack is absolutely adorable and they're really good quality clips this perfume is the Chanel chance perfume sample size Sephora you know when you place your order and they let you select samples I always go for the fragrances because I think they're so great for just travel on the go throw it in your bag good to go and that's where that came from these are my everyday sunglasses I am not going to splurge on a pair of sunglasses I have yet to do that I think the most I've ever spent was like $70 on a pair of sunglasses I throw them in my bag I trash these I throw these in my car I mean they just get scratched up and damaged so fast get them on Amazon Get your sunglasses on Amazon. These were like $7, $12. Love that I can just throw these into bags and I don't have to worry about them. They're comfortable, they work well, they're fabulous. So that is everything that I keep inside the main pouch. And on the back, there is a smaller pouch. The back is what I keep my cards in. I just have this quilted card holder. I don't have a whole wallet. I don't really carry cash with me that much. So I just go with a card holder and it works perfectly. I wish you could feel the weight of this because it is super, super light. So comfortable this bag I don't know what it is it distributes the weight really nice so when you're wearing it it doesn't feel heavy at all now this is my going on the go more casual athleisure you know today I'm going to drop Wilbur off at the groomer that's the bag that I'm gonna bring now if I want to dress up a little bit more this is the one that I go for it has the really nice magnetic closure open really locks into place I love that with a bag you don't have to worry about zipping it all the time I just sometimes like to just close it and call it good but I don't want it to be easily accessible when I'm walking I obviously will transfer like my cards and my sunglasses from my other bag but this one is more it's always just packed I just transfer my card holder and my sunglasses in between the two bags front I have another one of my touchland hand sanitizers they're just perfect for purses now this is also the bag I want to know when I'm vlogging normally this is the bag that I'll bring because I'm able to fit my camera in the back of this bag so you're gonna notice there's a little bit of like camera equipment in this bag if I'm going out for dinner I'll obviously pack this slightly different differently but this is normally my like vlogging purse so inside of here I have my SD card holder now if you film if you do photography this is really nice it keeps all of your SD cards together and organized I'm not sure how well you can see that because it is like a black velvet but there's little spots right here for your SD card you can fit six SD cards or like nine micro SD cards. This is a cool gadget. This is a, the USB version, but I do have one that has an SD card reader. If you take photos with a camera, like the, I know the Canon G7X is a really popular photo camera for like Instagram. Grab yourself one of these. This fits into your phone, so you can just plug your SD card in here and immediately import your photos from your camera. I love this feature. Instead of waiting until you get home, plugging it into the computer, plug this directly into to your phone go to your photos app and then at the bottom right hand corner there will be a little import button where you can import directly the photos to your camera roll this is incredible it's like ten dollars on amazon but it makes all the difference and then i wear a lot of well, I'm not wearing black today, but I wear a lot of dark colors and sweaters, and with that, they get super fuzzy, and I always have to have a lint roller with me. This one is my favorite lint roller. It is compact, it's retractable, it's reusable, it is just absolutely fabulous. It's easy to store, but I really like this one because when you throw it into your purse, you know, with traditional lint rollers, it's always open, so when you throw it in your purse, it just collects all that dust and dirt that's like in your purse. So I like the fact that I can just roll this down, throw it 
in my purse and it's gonna stay fresh and clean for the next time that I use it. And then when I run out of the lint sheets, all you do is just purchase a refill. You don't need to purchase the entire container again. Compact, but I like to keep one on the go and then I have one in my junk drawer in case people come over or just around the house. I like to have a good lint roller. Let me show you a good in-depth or inside of this purse. You do have pockets. So you've got this interior pocket. You've got a zipper pocket back here. This front portion is basically a built-in wallet, so you don't even need to get an additional wallet. It has little card slots, a little change purse. This does fully zip as well, this front portion, so it's really secure. And then this just locks down. It's flat, so it's not too bulky. This purse itself is not very heavy, and it's a nice, easy to wipe down material for when you get back, you can just easily clean it. That is what I keep in my two everyday bags. I love doing this. I love a good vintage YouTube video. I hope you enjoyed this. If you want more videos like this, like the classic YouTube videos, let me know. I love them. They're super nostalgic. And I will see you in the next video.